Hey beautiful people, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I will be reviewing some of the Federico Mahora fragrances. Before we get into this video, if you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Thank you so much. And if you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and activate that notification bell. And without further ado, let's jump right in. Federico Mahora was kind enough to send me three of their fragrances to review for you guys. And I was so delighted. Thank you so much, Federico Mahora. Uh, this video is not sponsored. These were just sent to me to review and give my honest feedback, which I always do. You know me, guys. You know I got you. I always give my 100% honest opinion. So for those of you who have not heard of this fragrance brand, Federica Mahori creates designer niche and luxury inspired by fragrances. So you could say they make dupes or as you say, inspired by fragrances. They have a huge selection of fragrances to choose from. They have so many niche, so many niche, like all the good ones out there that you have been wanting to get your hands on and couldn't maybe. Um, they also have luxury, Tom Ford. Uh, they also have designer, just they have a huge, huge catalog of these inspired by fragrances. And I will put all of their information in the description box below. They're very affordable and they're a fraction of the price. And uh, this is their Pure Royal line. Their Pure Royal line is their niche line. It's the niche fragrances, and they are a little more pricey than, let's say, the designer, but they're still very affordable. And uh, they come in a box that looks like this. It says Pure Royal, and it looks like so. The bottles are really nice. They look simplistic yet luxurious. They do look expensive. So this is the 50 ml, and they have the numbers, and the numbers correspond to the numbers in their catalog, have the name of the fragrance they were inspired by. So this one here is number 900, and this is inspired by Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. And I'm gonna put some on. Oh, you guys, this smells so intoxicating. You get that blast of cherry. I love cherry fragrances, so I'm a sucker for this. This is just like that fresh sour cherry, um, the kind that you pick off the trees. Oh my gosh, it smells just like Tom Ford's Lush Cherry. It smells exactly like that, just exactly. This one I have worn numerous times since getting it and the staying power in this, the performance, I have to say it's better than Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. Uh, Tom Ford's fragrances, especially that private blend line, lacks in performance for the most part. And Lost Cherry is one of them. And I'm so happy that I have this because I can wear this and not have to buy a full bottle of Lost Cherry. And this gives me like a good eight hours eight plus. The sillage is beautiful. The projection is great. And this is one of my favorite cherry scents. This smells amazing. Like I am so happy with this fragrance. It's delicious. It's sweet, yet it's a little sour. It's great for everyday wear. This is just a beautiful fragrance. So I have the next one also from the Pure Royal Collection. And it also comes in this green box. 
and the fragrance is inside like this. And the bottle looks the same. It's also really nice. And again, it has the number and this is number 910. And this one is inspired by none other than Baccarat Rouge 540 by Mason Francis Kurjian. I know another Baccarat Rouge 540 dupe inspired by, I know everyone has fatigue, but I just wanted to see how many dupes of that I can find. It's like going down that Baccarat Rouge 540 rabbit hole. And I do have quite a few that are dupes. And I mentioned them previously. If you guys have watched my videos, you would have seen. Um, there's one I hauled recently. I'm going to put the link to my haul down below so you'll see. So this one, I'll put some on here. Oh, wow, you guys, this, this is Vodka Rouge 540. Like, honestly, nobody would know that this isn't. Nobody would know the difference. It's that burnt sugary caramel scent that it's famous for, that some of us love. And I mean, it smells just like it. The good thing about this is uh, during the wear test, something that I really appreciated was that this didn't do that disappearing act that Baccarat Rouge 540 does sometimes. Like I know people get anosmic to it throughout the wear and it kind of feels like it's not there anymore and it comes back. This one just stays on. It stays on for a good nine, 10 hours. It's a great performance, great sillage, great projection. This is a beast mode just like the MFK fragrance, just like Baccarat Rouge 540. You guys, this is one of the best dupes I have smelled of that fragrance. This is probably the best dupe of that fragrance. And the reason I'm saying the best, I know I raved about the fragrance I recently acquired, but even though that one is a dupe, it also has Intense Cafe. So, I mean, that part of it is not, you know, a dupe. This is straight up like Baccarat Rouge 540, straight up. I, I can't really tell the difference. I don't have my little sample with me. I ran out, but I have used it so much that I recognize the smell like this. I don't really need it right now to know what it smells like. I can smell it anywhere. And I can say this is like a 98.5% dupe. I'm saying 98.5% just because, you know, that fragrance is a masterpiece. So I know that there's probably a slight variation maybe that I'm not picking up. So it's 98.5%. Let's just say that. Let's leave it at that. I know it's like, nah, why not 100? It could be 100. It could easily be 100% dupe for that. Oh, I love this one. I mean, both of them are gorgeous. And I, really, it's a fraction of the price. Those are pricey. Both Tom Ford, Nisa Francicardian, those are both very pricey. So far, those two, two thumbs up. This next one is from their Pure Line. And this is uh, the designer inspired by fragrances and it's Pure Parfum Femme. And uh, the bottle looks slightly different. So it has numbers, these have numbers on them as well. And this one is 441. And this one is inspired by Guerlain Mon Guerlain. Wow, <laughs> Guerlain Mon Guerlain. I mean, I'm smelling the Guerlain fragrance. It smells identical. 
Wow, you get that lavender, you get the vanilla. It's just that delicious scent, that comforting, unmistakable Guerlain, Mont Guerlain. Oh, wow. This is really good. This is also just spot on. It smells just like it. And um, yeah, I am thoroughly impressed with these. And the longevity on this is really good. This also gives me eight hours. Projection is great. Siage is great. This is a really, really good one. So I am really shocked and impressed by this house. I actually haven't heard much about it previously and I'm so glad that I discovered it and um, I do recommend you checking it out because I think they have some really, really good inspired by fragrances. They also sent me some little samples and I wanted to mention this one. This one stood out to me. This is inspired by Tom Ford's Tobacco Vanille. And let's see, I have already used it. Let's see, I have this much left. I'm trying to save it. I hope I don't spill it out. Okay. You guys, I have smelled Tom Ford's Tobacco Vanille so many times. I've had samples of it. I just never pulled the trigger and purchased the full size because it's expensive. Let's face it, their brand is pricey, especially that private blend. They're expensive. And so I just never took the dive and bought a full size, but I will be getting this. I will be getting the Federico Mahora one in the full size because it smells identical to Tom Ford's Tobacco Vanille. This one, was so impressive. I was shocked. Oh my gosh, I love this scent. This is so, so good, so good. I'm gonna go ahead and order because I know I'll run out in a few days, maybe even less. I bathe in these. I, I'm an oversprayer, I'm a heavy sprayer. And uh, yeah, this is not gonna last me too long. So my overall impression of this house is that it makes great inspired by scents. From what I've tried so far, I have loved. I am so happy to have these in my collection. Thank you again, Federico Mahora, for sending these to me. I'll be getting a lot of use out of them. That concludes my video for today. In the comments down below, please let me know if you guys have tried this house what you think about it, if you're going to try this house. Like I said, I will put all the information in the description box below. So thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you back here soon. Take care.